Hey guys, today I received my new uh, Giandel uh, 1000 watt inverter. As far as I'm concerned, and, and at the time of this video, this is the very first video of a Giandel inverter on YouTube. Uh, anyway, uh, before I do anything, uh, this is going to be my first video uh, recording in 60 FPS. Um, so yeah, let's give it a try. Anyway, yeah, so this is a 1000 watt inverter from Giandel. Uh, and I don't think this is actually a, uh, I don't think Giandel is a proper company because here, th this, this Giandel logo here is just stuck on by a piece of paper. There you go, this is just a piece of paper here that can be peeled off. So we'll see what the actual brand of this was, uh, sooner or later. But the funny thing about this is, uh, the actual, um, box of the inverter is a package. So yeah, they actually use the actual box itself as the shipping box. Anyway. To take a look at the box, we're just going to rip off this label here. I am bad at this. Let's just remove this one, green one here. Okay guys, so unfortunately I don't think I could rip off the this top label. But I guess it's not really important. Here we can see that there's a Giandel logo. Uh, it's a pure sine wave inverter. We could see that just at the back there. Uh, we could see that there's a picture of the inverter. And then let's take a look at the side here. Alright, so here we have a, another picture of the inverter. And this this is the controller uh, model, so you, yeah, you can turn it on, on and off using the controller. There you go, 1,000 watts. There's a model number. It has a low low voltage alarm, under voltage uh, protection, over voltage protection. You guys might not be able to see that. Uh, there's overload protection and thermal protection. Again, it's a pure sine wave inverter. If we take a look at the bottom, there's not much to see. Here's the side. You guys could pause if you want to see that. Uh, here's the front. And again, it says here, pure sine wave in, uh, inverter, or just pure sine wave, with wire remote and USB port. Uh, now, let's take a look at what's under this Giandel sticker. Alright guys, so it seems like as though there's nothing at all behind this Giandel uh, sticker, and the Giandel sticker up the top here. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm saying Giandel incorrectly, uh, no offense to Giandel group, or their company but as you can see here on the actual inverter here there's no there's no uh, Giandel logo so I think this is just a rebrand of another product anyway who cares about that right 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 anyway as long as it works that's good right now I'm gonna go get this open I'll use a knife it's much easier and let's take a look at what's inside the box Alright guys, so I have the box open, I think, and uh, before I go on, I forgot I forgot something really important. I'm going to show you the eBay listing, or the eBay page that this was um, advertised on. So you should be seeing it now. Uh, as you can see, um, it's the uh, inverter. I got it for around $100, you can see. Um, and the seller, if you can see the seller, it's um, something like anim uh, Animal or something like that. And I thought that that was just another seller, but no, I think it might be the actual Giandel as well. I think Giandel has a uh, user account named Giandel and that Animal thing, whatever. Because as you can see here, it says sender Giandel Pty Ltd etc. Two or twenty eight Richard Kits whatever road uh, drive whatever. Anyway, without further to uh, further talking or anything like that. Uh, let's get it open. Hopefully it's going to be working. Um, who cares who sent it as long as it works, right? Anyway, let's get this. No, oh, too much sticky tape. I guess they put all this sticky tape because uh, they had to use the, the actual box of the product as a shipping, shipping box and they didn't want anyone destroying it or opening it up during shipping. Now, before we take a look at the actual inverter, we'll take a look at the box beside it because everyone's interested in that, right? Alright, let's take a look at the box inside here. So this should contain the controller. Oh, and it appears there's, there's some cables too. Right. Oh, whoa. These are big cables. Alright. Let's let's unwind these cables. They're, they're, they appear to be nice, high-quality uh, cables. Up here. Alright, there you go. They're, they're really nice and beefy wires. 
they don't, they don't seem to have any ratings on them like the gauge wires so I'm not sure how many gauge wire they use here um, and uh, we have a cigarette lighter now this is what I've been really wanting um, I uh, this is really important for me because I want to be able to use the um, inverter inside the car so we'll unwind this oh hang on you guys can't really see properly let's try to get it in focus alright so let's get it open and then let's take a look alright so here it, it, here it says uh, maximum of 150 watts when you're using um, this cable and as you can see there's the cable this one this actually has very thin wires and this is only let's see um, it doesn't even say the gauge rating but anyway yeah so there's a cigarette lighter what you do is you'd plug this into your car you plug it into your cigarette lighter and then you could you would connect your inverter up using these connectors here I know you guys can't see that very well, but yeah, you connect it up there. And then also inside the box, we get a uh, controller. So here's the controller. It appears to be uh, quite, actually quite cheap. Uh, what I mean by cheap is it's very light, which could be a good thing for some. And there's a very, very extremely long cable, which is good. There you go, so there's a the controller. And now let's take a look at the real main event, the inverter. Let's take it out. Alright, oh, it's a heavy thing. Oh, very heavy, heavy, heavy. Very heavy. Alright, so let's pull it out there. Seems to be okay package. Get that side out. Oh, I don't know about carrying this around everywhere I go. Anyway, there you go. So there's the inverter. It's actually larger than I thought it would be. Anyway, let's get it out of the packaging. Alright. Let's get this pulled out. Alright, there you go. So it's a very uh, heavy inverter. Anyway, let's take a look at the uh, in user manual or the instruction manual here. This is just an open up page, where it seems. Oh no, it's a book. Alright, so that a way that you could tell if this is a good product or not is by the English. The English of the, um, the text. So let's see. Brief. Our power inverter is an advanced tool of power conversion and it can supply you with AC power converted from DC power source. Not only can it be used in cars, vessels and camp camping, but also can be used in emergency in emergency when power fail. In order to use the blah 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 blah. It looks like the uh, English is okay. Uh yeah, it seems like it's okay. It's quite a nice manual. Or quite len lengthy. Anyway, we'll take a look at the actual inverter now. Alright, so here's the uh, top of the inverter. And very nice, they have uh, a Giandale sticker. And this Giandale sticker is actually stuck onto the inverter. This is the actual label. They didn't do what they did with the box and just cheaply, um, cheaply stick on a piece of paper on top. And there you go, we have the Giandale logo. Pure sine wave inverter. We will check that. If they are lying, I will complain. I didn't pay this much money for a fake inverter. Continuous power, 1000 watt. We will test this out soon, but um, but I can't test it out reliably because I don't have a meter that can um, detect watts. Anyway, there we go. We have an input 12 volt nominal. Um, we ha norm Normal uh, input is 12 volts. We have 10 to 15 volts DC. It will support, and we have an output of 240 volts. Uh, VAC at 50 hertz. If we go take a look at the front here, we have a fan which appears to be a cheap Chinese uh, power year fan. I don't know if that's a cheap company or a actual good company. But the fan, fan appears to be quite small for the size of this inverter. I mean, who cares though, right? Alright, anyway, here is your ground connector. This is what you would connect to ground up your inverter in case there's any... um static or something I guess uh, and here are your connection knobs your connection thing with bobs so you could open this up oh it's very oh I dropped it anyway there, there's one of the um, connectors there that's what you would use to uh, get your wires on here I'll just show you an example there you go you would connect your wire like this and you'd tighten that up now this is oh, let's try to get a better focus on that. alright so oh this inverter is really heavy as you can see here, the cable goes on like that, but I'm not sure about this. The cable appears to be way too big, or the ring appears to be way too big. But I guess that's not a big problem. Anyway, let's test out the cigarette lighter. Let's see if that cigarette lighter fits as well. 
Right, so let's get the cigarette lighter thing. Oh, guys, make sure you never reverse polarity. When you reverse polarity in an inverter, it's fried. Anyway, yep, it fits. Yes, that's really good. They actually considered the um, cigarette lighter with that, and then I'll just zoom in to show you what they've done. As you can see there, uh, you have your screw-in thing, but at the same time, at the bottom here, there's a little bit of a uh, notch type of thing that goes in. And that does allow you to plug in your cigarette lighter there. See, it goes in quite well. So that's very nice. Uh, that fits in quite well. Now uh, we'll take a look at the front of it. Let's see what it looks like on the front. Let's see if it's cheap or not. Um, and here is the wonderful front. The main event, uh, I like to say it. Um, and there you go. There's the front. We have our controller port. We have our... Uh, uh, protect LED, which is like a um, uh, in case it overloads or if there's over voltage or under voltage. Uh, it, these LEDs appear to be unsecured very well. They're not they're not secured that well. We have a power button. We have again our remote on or off. Uh, we have our USB out, and we have two uh, st standard Australian anyway outlets. Um, anyway, let's test out. That's just about it with this inverter. Let's test it out and see if it actually works and let's see if it is actually pure sine wave alright guys so here I have the inverter and let's set it up alright we're gonna use the uh, leads that come with it and the battery that I'm gonna be using is this X side battery here uh, an X side economy battery here are the specs if you guys wanna see it there you go there are some of the specs and then you could pause that if you wanna see but let's connect up this inverter Remember guys, never, ever, ever reverse polarity your inverters. Um, that's going to be devastating for you. Anyway, we'll uh, put on this positive connector. Uh, a bit tricky here. Again, these connectors appear to be a bit big, which is alright, I guess. And we'll lock that in tight. Oh, nice and tight. And then we'll get the other one. And then we will connect that up as well. So here's the negative. Alright, and I'm going to be connecting this inverter probably the most cheapest way I can because my battery can't exactly support the terminals on the end of this. It'd be nice if, you gave, if they gave you some alligator clips, but we don't exactly have that. I did order a cable that has alligator clips on the end of these, on the ends, but um... Yeah, so we're going to try to see if I could use these banana, uh, these alligator clips. Uh, but this is probably going to be quite dangerous, so, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I'll just go get this connected up and then come back. Alright, so let's get this connected. So this is the way I'm going to do it here. As you can see, I just have this alligator clip connected to the negative. And I'm gonna, uh, what you should always do is connect your negative to your negative first. Negative, it should always go first. Right, now we're going to connect positive to positive. I'm not going to connect this one yet. Gonna disconnect this. All right, so we're gonna connect this onto here. Okay, so I've connected it up. As you can see, it connects there, and then it connects here. Uh, you should always connect your negative first to your battery. As you can see, I have negative connected, and now we're gonna uh, connect uh, the positive. As you can see it's connected like that. Make sure the polarity is in reverse. Make sure all the connections are good, and then there might be a big spark, and uh, hopefully we don't get anything else after that. All right, big spark. I think you should. I think I, ho I hope you guys saw that. Anyway, no more big sparks. That's good. Right. Currently, nothing has. Nothing is hissing, or smashing, or poofing, or blowing. Anyway, let's see if we could switch this dude on. Right. Let's let's hit the power button and wow. Nothing happened. Ah. Oh. You gotta press and hold, guys. I only just knew that. Press and hold. So, let's see. Yeah. So, okay, so turn it on. You, you press and hold. And it turns on. You press and hold until green light stays on. Anyway, so it appears to be on, and it appears as though the fan is load or temperature controlled. The fan is not running. Uh, by the way, these cables are hot, and if they are hot or turned on, and if they used to touch, it's gonna be devastating. Anyway, the fan is not running. Now, let's try to plug in this box fan. This is a 45 watt box fan. Um, it will just put that over here, and we'll plug it in. And just lean it against the tripod there. Right, we'll plug it in, and then see. We'll put this turn. We'll turn this off. 
And then we'll plug it into the socket. Oh, hang on. Alright, that's plugged in. And let's see if we could get the fan on. Alright, let's go to number one. And would you look at that? Listen to that sound, guys. It's turned on and it's pure sine wave. That's a definite. Uh, the, re the way that you could tell that it's pure sine wave is, I will show you. Right, so I have my non-pure sine wave inverter connected. This is a PowerTech 200 watt inverter, modified sine wave. This outputs a 230 vo uh, volt and um, is also 12 volts. As you can see here, I've just connected it like that uh, to the banana clips. Um, like this to the alligator clips and uh, we're going to test this out. So I'll just show you what it sounds like if you put it on a modified sine wave inverter. Let's just unplug this cable again. Uh, this is a, this inverter is actually really good. It grips onto cables very nicely. Oh, it doesn't want to let go, which is always a nice thing. Anyway, we'll connect you to the inverter, and I'll show you what it will sound like on a modified sine wave. Here we go. As you can see, the fan is running, and uh, we'll, I'll show you what it sounds like. I just have the microphone uh, close to the fan here. And I don't know if you could hear that, but there's a slight buzzing. Um, uh, hopefully you could hear that sound, but there's a slight buzzing there. And I'll just put the camera back on the tripod to make it easy. If I go to the uh, pure sine wave inverter, I'll unplug it out of here. I'll plug it into the uh, inverter. Pure sine wave inverter. If I plug it into this, uh, and if I turn the fan on, here we go, hang on, I'll turn it on. Here we go, L listen to the sound of it. No buzzing. Now I'll go to number two. Still no buzzing. And then number three. As you can see, it's number three and there's still no buzzing and it's working absolutely perfect. perfect. Um, now, I'm going to face this fan away. Here we go. The fan's facing away. And by the looks of it, the fan is still not turned on. The fan is still not running. Ah, uh, alright. Alright, now I'm be just being plain crazy. Here I have a 2000 watt heater. Yeah, this thing only has a surge power of 2000 watts. Uh, I'm going to be blowing it up as soon as I turn it on. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on number one, which should pull about maybe 1000 watts. Should be about half. Anyway, let's put it on the fan mode. Whoa, it's turned on! Now let's put on number one. Oh, it's beeping. It's beeping. Oh. Da. Ah. Alright, so that has been my video or unboxing and uh, quick, I guess, test of this Giandel Pure Sine Wave Inverter. And yes, it does what it claims. It is a pure sine wave. In the next video, I'm going to be seeing if it is actually 1000 watts, if I can. I'll have to order some sort of watt meter from online, and we'll have to see if we could test it out. Uh, and yeah, we've got to see if it works. Um, so yeah, that was my, um, again, that was my unboxing and test to see if it's uh, pure, sine wave, pure sine wave or not. And uh, currently, I've been powering my gaming laptop, my Mac, and my brother's laptop, all charging and uh, turned on at the same time. As you can see, connected here, and the connected there, and the fan still won't turn on. So I'm going to continue to find out to see if the fan is defective or if it really is temperature controlled. Because currently, it's still running really extremely cold. I mean, well, it's nice to hold. I mean, it's not, not a tiny bit warm. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Before you go, we have to test the remote.